Hey guys, and welcome to episode 7 of How to Be a 3D Animator. If you guys saw my last video, you would have seen how I try and integrate reference videos into my animations. And so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to bring in a reference video or reference image into your Maya. References are huge for helping make your work more realistic and a fantastic tool to actually learn animation. When you record your reference, you want to pay attention to all the little details and the little weight shifts that are happening all throughout your body when you are making each movement. If you do the same motion a couple of times, each time paying attention to a separate part of your body, you're going to have a much easier time animating it because you'll actually have an understanding of your body and your body mechanic that results into that motion. Now that we're caught up, on the importance of references, let's get right into the video. So this is how I bring reference files into Maya. You want to go to panel, go to orthographic view, side. Now here on the top left in view, you want to scroll all the way down to image plane and import movie. Here you want to find the file that you want to bring in. So just depending on your file format, you might have to change movie files to all files. And in my case, it will be this one. I'm just going to bring that in. And now as you guys can see, it plays through in the timeline and you can pop back into perspective. Now you have this image plane right here, which you can move around. Now you can bring your character in front of it. And you can also change at what point you want the video to start in. So for example, I don't want to see me walking up and pulling down my shirt. And so let's see. So let's say I want to start at frame 120, which is when I'm in my stance. So I'm going to come to frame 1 and offset. Change the offset to 120. So now my frame 1 starts when I'm already in position. Oh, there it goes, just lagging. Okay. Uh, another thing you have to worry about here is that, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is actually in slow motion, or at least it feels that way. The reason for this is because your Maya, as it should be, is set to 24 frames. So it's set to 24 FPS, but the video you recorded is most likely recorded in 60 FPS. Um, Honestly, I, I looked around, I tried to find a way around this. I, <laughs> I probably spent over two hours trying to find a fix for this. I couldn't. Um, the only way I could actually fix this was to um, go into Adobe After Effects and re-render the video in 24 frames per second. So the only way to, to actually fix this problem that I could find um, was to just reconvert the video to 24 frames per, per second instead of 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the converted file so you guys can see that afterwards it looks real speed. And as you guys can see this is real time because this is 20 I exported this at 24 frames per second. If you guys do manage to find a fix for this or if you know of a way to export a video uh, that's 60 frames into 24 frames without bringing it into After Effects, then do leave a comment down below for and help others out. Now the second issue you may run into may be a video format issue or a video encoding issue. Yeah, so it will give you guys a codec error saying that this video file is not supported this movie file is not supported. Again, the way to fix this is to bring your reference into a video editor and change the file format. For me personally, when I export with um, After Effects in H.264, I'll type that on the screen for you guys. So uh, when I export in H.264 in After Effects, there doesn't seem to be any problems. And so whenever I need something to be 24 FPS and I need it to be usable in Maya as a reference. I just pop it into After Effects, change it to 24 FPS, configure the setting to 24 FPS, and export it as an H.264. And I don't seem to have any problems with that. 
I'm sure if you guys can get your hands on some video editing softwares, uh, you'll be able to get the same results. And I actually almost forgot. So there, there is a third issue that could arise. And how you fix this issue is by smashing that like button and subbing and hitting the little notification button to, well, to stay notified. You do that and you're golden. Okay, that's about it. It's honestly that easy. You just gotta realize that using references is not only okay, but it's recommended. Like even I have a hard time using references sometimes because it just it feels like it feels like cheating. But the best animators, the best artists out there use references and it's the best tool for you to learn how the proper way things are done. Learn the natural way a body moves. There's no better way than to study a reference over and over and over and over. The more references you analyze while working, the better understanding you get of how things move and physics works. So don't ever refrain from using a reference. If you guys would like me to make a video on exactly how I use a reference, just leave a comment below. I um, hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure to again smash that like button if you haven't already. And if you're interested in 3D animation, well, hit the sub button because why not? It's free. Happy animating guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.